Good day, folks. Welcome to Answers Life. I hope everyone's doing great today. Happy Friday. I know many of you just got off of work, but guess what? This video is about work. So mentally, we're going to put you back at work just for a little bit. So, is there a way to solve the issue of not wanting to participate in the workforce? Is there a way to solve that issue? Other than flooding this country full of illegals and migrants, is there any other way besides that to solve the issue? Yes, there is. And this is how this issue can be solved, in my opinion. I feel if more companies would structure their business to where workers would have more flexibility to take an extended period of time off of work to do whatever it is they want to do, I think that would help big time. Because... One thing I notice is one reason why a lot of people have been checking out of the out of nine to five work outside of the basics like, you know, they're miserable, their supervisor's a jerk, the pay is too low. Another reason why many people have this have been deciding to quit the nine to five is because you got a lot of people that uh, that like to travel. And if they stay working their 9 to 5, most likely they're not going to get to travel. They're not going to get to travel to some of the places that they might want to travel to. And I'm a firm believer that the human being is not meant <laughs> To this day in one place. Now, although you do got people that say, you know what, I'm happy staying in one place. I'm a, uh, what do you call that? There's people that will say, I'm not a traveler. I'm a homebody. And that's cool. But I would say there's a lot of people out here that prefer to travel a little bit. And I'm a firm believer that the human being is not meant to stay in one place. The human being is meant to get out here and explore. You know, explore other places in the country. Explore other, other places on the globe. And that is next to impossible to do if you're working a regular 9 to 5. And I believe if uh, if your job would allow their employees, like, you know, I'll give you guys a scenario. Like, if, a job, if there is a job opening, I don't care what occupation, if there is a job opening, and they said, you know what, you have to work for six months straight. And after you work, you work six months straight. And I, I mean, when I say six months straight, I'm talking, you know, regular Monday through Friday, 40 hour work week. And you get your two days off a week, as most people do. So you work six months. And then after that six, and then after you work your six months, if you want to continue to work your normal nine to five schedule, cool. But if you want to take some time off, you know what? The company will have it to where you can take that time off. And this time that you take off will be unpaid. If you want, I mean, you'll be able to take off up to two months. So you can work six months, take off two months. Uh, another scenario which I thought about is, let's say there is a job opening, and again, you can plug in whatever occupation that you want to plug in. 
But let's say there's another job opening to where maybe you work four months and then you're off a month. Or you work three months and then you're off a month. Now, any of those scenarios that I just described, I'm very confident that if there is a job opening to where you were able to work that type of a schedule, I can almost guarantee that a lot more people would be willing to stay and work their nine to five. A lot more people will be uh, more willing to participate in the workforce. You wouldn't have so many people leaving the workforce as you have. Now, again, none of, none of what I'm saying right now is based on research. What I'm saying is based on just observation. It's also based on myself a little bit. Because uh, some people would say the reason why a lot of people are dropping out of the workforce is because a lot of us have gotten lazy. And although that might be true for some people, I would say for the vast majority of us, regardless of your age, I don't believe that. I believe that most people want to work and desire to work. Most people desire to earn their own money. Most people desire to earn their keep in society. It's just that a lot of people don't want to have to work their life away to where it's work, 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 work. You only get a couple of days off. You don't, you, you, you don't, you barely have enough time to travel anywhere, to explore different cultures, to explore different parts of the country that you reside in or to explore different parts of the world. I believe, and even for people that don't like to travel and they're more of a homebody, maybe if they had a substantial amount of time off, whatever it is that they enjoy, that they enjoy doing at home, they can spend a little bit more time doing that. And I feel, I mean, I feel... If jobs would offer the schedule that I was discussing a second ago, either six months on, two months off, or maybe three to four months on, and then a month off, it will give people a lot more time to do what they want to do, to live life how they want to live life. And then while they're at work, I feel... After they get to do that, during the time that they're at work, A, they're going to be more productive. B, they're not going to be burnt out. And due to people not being so burnt out, they're going to be more productive. And also, people are going to be happier. Because they're able to allocate more time to self rather than to employer. So people are going to be more happier. Customer service is going to be better. The quality of service or the quality of a product will be better because the worker's attitude will be better. Like when you go to, let's say, I don't know, fast food even, and you order a meal, rather than the cashier giving you that dirty, pissed off look, you might get someone that might even crack a smile at you and ask you how the hell you're doing because they're in a damn good mood because they know that they only got to work for three to four months or they only got to work for six months and then they get two months off. to Then they get a month or two off in a row to do whatever it is they desire to do. They, they'll, they'll have that extend, extended amount of time to recuperate, to collect their thoughts, to truly think about what it is that they desire to do with their life. Or maybe evaluate their life. Is there anything they want to change? Do they like their life? I mean, 
all that good stuff. And I'm, I mean, like when I think about myself, although I'm grateful to have my job, although I like my job for the most part, I'm not going to lie. It would be nice if I was able to work, let's say, three months. And then at the end of three months, if I want to, I can take a month off. And then after that month, I go back. Now, some of you are probably thinking, okay, well, if companies were like that, then how are these companies going to have the staff necessary to get the job done with it, with everybody taking off like that? Well, easy. That's where temp service agencies come in. That's where temp service agencies come in. Like, while you are taking some time off, these companies can recruit people from a temp service agency to fill your slot temporarily. And of course, if you're working with a temp service agency, you can take some time off too. Like, if you want to only work part-time, you can work part-time through a temp service agency. Now, again... I'm just making this shit up. So, <laughs> just so you guys understand, none of what I'm saying, unfortunately, is realistic. Now, maybe somewhere in this world, maybe somewhere even here in the United States, some of what I'm saying may be a reality already. But I would say, for the most part, in most parts of the United States, what I'm saying is not reality. So, understand that. I'm just sitting here brainstorming out loud for you guys to hear of how I believe this uh, trend of more and more Americans deciding to check out of the workforce could be solved. And companies that are short-staffed will no longer be short-staffed or they won't be as short. And obviously, I don't believe that we ought to be flooding the country with illegals and migrants. Because some people say that would be the only way to fill these positions to where the work is done. And what I'm saying is, no, that's not the way to go. The way to go is, let's create a better work-life balance. Now, I know I said the other day that there really is no such thing. And, and right now, there really isn't. But I feel for many 9 to 5 jobs, if a better work-life balance was created, kind of like what I'm describing on this video, more people would be willing to work. More people would be willing to stay on a 9 to 5 they'll be willing to stay working at 9 to 5 as opposed to quitting it. More younger people. <laughs> you know those lazy uh, Gen Zs that many people love to talk about? More of those people would even be willing to put down the remote of their video game. Hey, <laughs> get a job and go to work. And rather than wanting to stay in their mom's basement or their or in their mom's couch or the spare room, they might actually want to get their own apartment, buy their own house, and truly live like an adult. And I think all these things would happen a little bit more if there was a better balance. If there was a better work-life balance. Now I'm not excuse now people that are truly lazy, I'm not I'm not excusing any of that. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving my two cents here. And like I said, this is just me brainstorming out loud. So if any of you guys have anything to add to this video, uh whatever thoughts you have. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. So drop a comment below. Until the next time, stay blessed. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.